Okay, since uh, we got our wonderful helpers back with us this weekend, uh, it is the first week in September, and we are going to go get the Billy. The Billy gets to stay at another farm to keep company another goat that uh, lost its mate. And uh, we, we breed in September, and that means that the babies will be born in February. Mm -hmm. In February. Now, the goat that I've got milking now, she was uh, freshened in, let's see, February. So we're going to milk her to probably December. And then we're going to take December and January off. And the goats that's getting bred now will be freshening in February. So we'll go, we'll go eight, ten weeks without fresh milk, but we've got a neighbor we can buy cow's milk from. And then in January, we'll breed the other two. And goats give a real steady supply of milk for about five, six months. And uh, that's, that's when we dry them off. So that's why I have two set, sets. We do staggered bre breeding uh, so we can have 10 months of milk and cheese and yogurt and all the good things that we get from that milk. And um, uh, that's uh, what we're doing today. We're going to go get the billy. Get this. We got two goats, a, an older goat and a younger goat. And we're going to get them bred. And uh, we made sure they were nice and healthy. And they're in real tall grass. And uh, the goats, most goats, most dairy goats only come into heat during the cooler months and we just had our first cool morning if it was to start raining and be cool for a few days they'd come in heat being around the billy this time of year with the shortening of the light they'll come in heat but normally they won't even come in heat during mid midsummer so uh, but we still keep the billy away uh, just so uh, we don't have to deal with him all the time and uh, he doesn't stink until he comes here and he starts putting his perfume on for the ladies, and the ladies just love it. So these guys are going to go get the big Billy, and he's not going to want to come, but when he gets here, he's going to be very excited to be here. So let's go, guys. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I'm going to walk back here and see what these boys are doing. They got the truck back here. What are y'all doing? Get, Get some drum footage. footage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Richard, what's your part in this? I am the drum sound. Oh, okay. Carry on. <laughs> Special effects. <laughs> hey, y'all! We hope you enjoyed our Crazy Brothers drone footage. Homemade drone footage. It's our new thing here on the homestead. And us girls are going to talk to you about our rotational grazing pastures out here on the farm. So, to start off, we have five rotational grazing pastures. So they start off as one, two, three, four down there, and then five would be the hills behind Cecilia. <laughs> so, the first paddock has been grazed and mowed 
and put to rest for the end of summer to grow back for early fall, late winter grazing. The second one the goats have just gotten off of, you can see that it's really stemmy where they've come in, ate all the leaves off of the weeds and have moved on. And then this third one, as you can see, is nice and healthy still. There's a lot of good grazing still to be done in this pasture. They have just started on it. We leave the goats in the rotations for a week, maybe a little bit longer if it's looking good. They were possibly on this one for two weeks because it had a lot of foliage on it. And in each paddock, you can see that there is a old hay bale just sitting around. We're waiting for the winter time to spread these out and then we're going to put the chickens on them and they are going to work it into the soil to build up bare spots in each paddock. So in our fourth paddock, it's kind of like our odd paddock. It does unusual chores like we keep calves in it when they get old enough to start munching on some grass and here in the next couple minutes it's actually going to be our breeding station for the fall. The boys have already moved the trampoline down there. We used to have a little shed, but the calves got too big for the shed, so it is no longer in existence. So we have moved the trampoline down there, and we're going to put tin on top of the trampoline and things on top of the tin to hold it down so they have a little shelter to get away from storms. And we're soon to go get the billy goat, so he'll be coming home for at least a month um, for breeding purposes. And the girls are about to be moved into their new home. Here comes the girls going into their pasture for the winter. And the boys are really loud. They sure do talk a lot. They do. <laughs> I can't see them yet. Where did they go? They lost them. We lost them. <laughs> oh, here they come. There they come. Nope. <laughs> Pepper's helping. <laughs> like, get who? You just broke something. I did. I have no idea. There she comes. Oh. Good dog. Alright, so they're going into number three to graze, and then Crummy and Snow are going into number four, where we're going to put the Billy in with them this evening. Head in to go get the goat. Well, there's the goat. He don't like us, so Miracle went in there to get him. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the one we need. We need that one. We just take that one. Our goat whisper. She got him. Go sister. Well, there's the goat. They got him. <laughs> He's not very happy. There's our goat whisper. <laughs> yeah. Look at the people and the goat. Look at the goat and the people. And they're in the back of the truck. <laughs> and we're taking the goat home. And that means whatever that means.
He is so not impressed. Alright, ready? He ain't happy. Watch out for Murphy, she's gonna try to get to him. Alright. Alright. Yep, in the middle of the fog. No? My leash is gonna smell like a goat forever. <laughs> Might as well burn it. Oh, it? yes, he smells so good. Put in some vinegar. Boom, done. Right. Did you hook up the fence, Righteous? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna have a headache. <laughs> oh yeah. He's like, okay, never mind those women. Ugh. Righteous. Ha, <laughs> ah, I don't. I hurry up, hurry up, she's gonna get out. <laughs> hurry! Here she goes! <laughs> I should already ragging her tail. I got a whip. What are they going to do under there? <laughs> They're going to make circles, miracle. <laughs> hey, I